we've finally got round guys to show you our beloved bullfrogs. So Toon and I are just going to nip into the tank here and show you our setup. We recently drained this down this morning just to clean it out and remove our prized assets which are our giant snails. Uh, but before we top it up we thought we'd give it a good opportunity to show you our bullfrogs in here. It's fraught with danger obviously. Yeah, there's lots of ants in here now. As soon as you drain it down, they like to get in here and eat all the bugs. In here, we've got a mixture of females and males. And we've got some wild bullfrogs in here mixed up with some that we bought from a, a local grower around the corner. Now let's put this in the way. Let's see if we can hear something there. Look. Yeah, camera. Yeah. Look at that. She's a female one, see her. Yeah, we can see you, girl. Oi, gonna squash him now. Quite tame, really. Not so much these wild ones. The dark ones are a little bit smaller, but these, you can pick them up quite easily. Uh, I don't know, they're strange creatures. Right, girl. Look, it's got baby on it. Egg. Wow, that's what you should be eating. Not just sitting around in the swamp all day. So I think we've got seven or eight in here. A few we caught by hand around our ponds outside. <laughs> and we've got two breeding pairs from that other guy. We've rigged up some pipe work just to top up the tank. And this, this is connected to a pump that's in one of our uh, tilapia ponds. The water level starting to come up a little bit now. We don't want it to get too high. And we've rigged that up to the generator. We can use our solar power and pump out of that borehole, which is in the, the orchard next door. But it's, it's quite a lot of water that needs to come in here. We don't pump it so it's really deep. Uh, the frog is a bit of a misnomer, really. Frogs don't like to be submerged underwater or, or in the water all the time. They like to be on the edge of it, mostly. Uh, it's easier for them to, to catch, catch their prey. At night time, we've got two lights. So this is what we call the black light. It's more sort of purple when it comes on. And we've got this little setup, which is, uh, it just charges up through the day. Get its solar panel at the top and we flick it on. It lasts, lasts about an hour or so. So that's it. We don't have to actually feed these frogs. With being out here on the farm, there's more than enough bugs at night. Now, a lot, a lot of the, the growers who do this as a living, they will actually separate the girls from the boys uh, and then when it's it's coming into the rainy season, uh, every so often they'll they'll put the girls and the boys together. Uh, they'll spawn straight away for one or two nights, uh, and then they then they take the uh, the either take the frog spawns out or they remove the frogs and then separate them again. Uh, we don't bother doing that. One we've got all our tanks here marked for uh, water snails, so every now and again we just we just collect the tadpoles. So as we drain this down, we just put a net over the the outlet pipe, caught all the tadpoles, and uh, Toon's going to just show you them in a little uh, tank that we've got set up for them. So we're just going to pour them into the net and then you can have a little bit of a closer look before we put them in our snail tank. I don't know how many is in there, how many reckon you missed? A little guppy there. One, two, three, four, ten. Ten? Time to set them free. So we're going to put them into this tank here, which is one of our tanks we use for toon growing our baby snails. If okay. they eat my snail, you'll be they trouble. They won't eat your snails. Wow. They're big already, aren't they? Mm. And as they grow up, the idea is they're just going to hop over the wall and into our fruit orchard there. And take care of all the bugs for us. They're incredible predators, these are. So it's not a major food source for us here. Yeah, it is something that we will eat, uh, but it's just something that, that's, well, we think it's quite nice to, to grow. It's, it definitely helps control the bugs as well. Uh, certainly when we're sitting around the, the table eating at night, uh, depending on what time of year it is, uh, you get a lot of bugs. So we stick the, the, the lights on the tank here, uh, and we have a, a a less powerful light where we're eating and most of the bugs come to the frogs and uh, they do the rest. They uh, 
they soon start noshing on them. It's not really worth going into full production with these, although we've got plenty of room to make more tanks. You know, there's there's um, there's a couple of other people that are, are growing frogs nearby, so you know they've already got the the market covered in that aspect. So we don't want to be competing against direct competition with people that have been doing it for years and know what they're doing. So yeah, I think this is like a, a nice little basic setup, and uh, it's something that we can fall back on again if we're if we're struggling to find something to eat. Right, to, I just heard Toon starting up the generator, so I'm going to flick the the camera around and in a second as long as the pump's still working if it breaks again i will i will swear here it comes whoa look at the color of that don't knock it it's clearing now I've got an overflow pipe there but we don't even bring it up to the level of that so what we're looking for is just to bring the water almost so it's touching there and then at night time, the, the, the frogs generally congregate along this wall underneath the light or they'll, they'll just sit on there and just pick, pick whatever bugs they can get. Once this is filled up, we're then going to extend the, the, the pipe work uh, behind the camera and we're going to fill up our other tanks as well while we've got the generator running. Happy missus? No. Right, so the bullfrog tank is is now full. Well, not full, but to the depth we want. And we've now got a Swiss Family Robertson-esque set up with the pipe work. We, we haven't got enough pipe work, so we've got what we can find. And uh, we've tried to patch it all together to get, to get down there. Look at my creation. Whoa, it works. Look at that, fantastic. Uh, the flow has slowed down considerably. So in here we've got our super snails. Toon's got her shrimp in here. And we've also got loads of crabs there as well. Seems to be a fountain down there. That is JP. <laughs> What the you doing there? <laughs> it's our new water feature! <laughs> we just thought we'd take the opportunity to clean our infamous crayfish jig tank out. We only checked it last week, uh, so we wanted to remove the crayfish. The first one that Toon's got out is buried up. Wow! She's just like, I don't know if she's finished yet. We've got a tank for you, my dear. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Second tank, my dear. Yes, I know, darling. New home. Oh, I think you still like it. Excellent. But now comes the icky bit. We've got to get in the tank and uh, I think we're drawing straws and we're going to clean it out. We only do this once every six months or so. <laughs> You want crayfish? Get it for you. Yeah. Up, up. <laughs> you have to hold same me. Put your rod. That's it. A lot of key up there. I don't know this in um I can't move. Baby in um. <laughs> <laughs> 